Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making a delicious seasonal side dish of roasted butternut squash and acorn squash. Last winter, my friend Dave came over to visit for dinner and he brought a side dish with him of roasted acorn squash with fresh herbs and Parmesan cheese. It was so incredible. I had to get the recipe from him. So today I'm gonna to share my version of his roasted squash. So I started by thoroughly washing my squash because I'm actually gonna roast it with the skin on. You can eat the skin. My kids probably are not gonna do that, but it just makes it easier for me because I don't have to peel the vegetables. So I'm gonna start by cubing them all up. You can see the inside of the round part of the butternut squash. It kind of looks like the inside of a pumpkin. So a good way to scrape out the insides is either with an ice cream scoop or I like to use a grapefruit spoon. So my butternut squash is all cubed up and now I'm going to work on my acorn squash, which is going to be the same process. It'll have the seeds inside that I'm going to scoop out and then we'll cube this up too. So all my squash is diced up and I have to say I was really confident after the butternut squash because I cut through it pretty easily. And then I got to the acorn squash and I realized that I was not blessed with a lot of upper body strength. So I'm currently sweating, but <laughs> the squash is cut and we're ready <laughs> to roast it. Now you saw earlier that the squash kind of, um, the acorn squash has sort of a floral shape to it, which is really pretty. So if you want to slice it just for presentation sake, instead of cubing it up, that's totally fine. But just to be safe, I wanted to cut them all into even sized pieces um, just so that they roast evenly. So Dave told me that the key to this roasted squash is a liberal amount of olive oil. So we're gonna coat these pretty generously with several tablespoons of olive oil. May even have to crack open a second bottle, we'll see here. <laughs> That's probably enough to start. And then I'm gonna use um, just a lot of salt and pepper today. Probably add a little garlic powder. And then Dave also suggested using some fresh herbs. And I don't have any on hand right now, but what I do have is um, poultry seasoning. So I'm gonna use that, which is a great combination of herbs like sage and rosemary and thyme, which are some of the things that he suggested. So I think that's gonna work out perfectly flavor-wise. And I think it's gonna taste and smell a little bit like Thanksgiving too, which makes me very happy. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use my freshly cracked black pepper. And then we'll add this poultry seasoning too. So let's see. And then I'm gonna to toss all these veggies with my hands just to coat them in the olive oil and the seasonings. My oven's preheated to 350 degrees and I'm gonna put all of this beautiful squash in for about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm making more than what Dave did. He may have just cooked one squash. So it might take a little bit more time. I'll just keep an eye on it and let you know how it goes. So that actually worked out perfectly in my oven. It was at 350 degrees and the squash roasted for about 40 minutes until it was fork tender. Um, one thing that I would recommend if you have the room in your oven is to divide the squash up between two cookie sheets because I think it would get a little crispier on the edges if it had a little more room around it. I just didn't have the space, but it still looks and tastes awesome. Now the finishing touch for this roasted squash is freshly grated Parmesan cheese. So I've been using my little microplane over here and this is like kind of a medium size. Um, it's not the finest microplane. This is really perfect for grating cheese. So you can see you just kind of grate it over a little snowfall of fresh, gra freshly grated Parm. Looks good. So we can sprinkle that on top. Or if you wanna get fancy with your guests, I wanted to show you another option. You can use a vegetable peeler and actually shave pieces of Parmesan cheese. So you have little, um, I don't know what you would call them, tendrils of <laughs> Parmesan cheese that you could spread out over your squash just to make it look a little bit fancier. Um, but either way, it's Parmesan cheese, so it's gonna taste awesome. So put it on however you want. I'm going to shower mine with the grated Parmesan cheese. This roasted squash would make the perfect side dish for a weeknight supper. I'm serving mine tonight with pan-seared pork chops and freshly baked cornbread, which I'll post a link to that video below. Also, this would be equally as awesome on a holiday table, so you can serve this as a side dish for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and it would be beautiful and, of course, delicious. 
Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen for another family recipe, and I'll see you again soon. For the full recipe, check the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.